and we are back with another mother freaking video if you have not been to my channel before welcome if you have been to my channel before welcome back so okay for those who have been to my channel before clearly we have a blank canvas behind us there has been a lot that has changed I feel like every time I come on here, I'm like, oh my gosh, so much has changed in my life. But if y'all really want to know, my life is literally so crazy. Like, it's up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. I sometimes don't even know how I keep up with my life. There's always so much that goes on, but that's besides the point. It is 2024. And let me just say that my 2024 has not started the way that most people would want their 2024 to start up. You girl been going through it. I have literally been going through it, y'all. I feel like last video I uploaded was literally so positive. And don't get me wrong, I'm still very positive with everything that's going on in my life. However, um, there have been a lot of battles that I have been approaching and having to fight. And it's just getting a little bit overwhelming not overwhelming let me not say overwhelming because we persevere and we fight on there has been a lot that i have been going through however like i said we persevere we fight on on to the next so going into my 2024 i told myself that i will be 100 percent accountable when it comes to all aspects of my content so i would just like to start off 2024 with a little bit of recap of how my year was like ending and how it's basically bringing in the new year and all of the crazy things that have been happening and the great things that are to expect um going into the new year so I have my handy dandy notebook right here that I definitely have been planning all of my content in. And let's go ahead and hop into my life. Obviously, number one thing that clearly you guys can see, and I feel like now I've been waving my hand a whole lot, but I am engaged. I declared well me and my fiance declared ourselves as engaged um towards the end of last year 2023 and um we do plan on being married in 2024 however we're not look, we're not looking to rush things however um we both are definitely like we're not the type of people who really just want to be engaged for two years three years like it doesn't really take that long to plan a wedding so that's not what this will be um honestly how I feel about this is like I've always wanted to be married but it was like when you're dating it's like you never really are just like oh like you like don't get me wrong like, I date to marry but it's just like mm, I don't see this being that or I don't see that being that or I don't see this going there and this is the first time that I've actually been able to truly say that I have seen like marriage coming out of a situation and it definitely is coming clearly is and it ain't nice y'all that thing is nice but that's besides the point um it's crazy to me because i always said that i wanted to be married at the age of 23 and here i am going into 2024 and i will be turning 23 in april and i will be getting married and I just think that that's crazy. But I always say, and I've heard like other people say too, like the thing that you're living in now that you really can't believe half the time is something that you used to pray on or wish about like back in back in time. Like remember when we used to be young and we used to be like, I can't wait to be a grown up and this and that. And I can't wait to live by myself. Yeah, here I am. 
And sometimes I'll be reaching out. I didn't say none of that stuff, but it is what it is. So next topic that I am discussing that is fairly new to my 2024 is the fact that I have moved. And I didn't really move on my own terms. But basically, right before Christmas, it just so happened to be that I, me and my fiance were waking up out of our sleep at 4 a.m. to the fire alarm. Lo and behold, the unit above us was actually on fire. Um, we ended up leaving and like literally we drove around the block at 4 a.m. We came back and the whole block was filled with fire trucks excuse me the whole block was literally just filled with fire trucks and we were like oh dang this is literally a real fire like obviously when we when we had left or before we left we didn't know that it was a real fire he was just like oh this alarm is not like the typical alarm like we gotta go basically so that was pretty crazy um, we ended up leaving for a few hours. If you have been tuning into my shorts, then you know that this year I did start, well, me and my fiance, we did start um, an Airbnb business. And luckily, um, our unit was vacant at the time. So we went ahead and rolled over there and camped out over there for a few hours. We had some breakfast and we came back and the alarm was actually still going off. And as we were like approaching the actual building, there was one person who was standing in the garage and we were like, oh, is that still like the alarm going off? Are they still in there working? And she was like, no, they're not in there working anymore. But if you live like on the side wing over there, like where everything was at, then all of those units like are basically flooded. So we came into our unit and literally there was water everywhere. There's water on the floor. There's water coming out of the vents. There's water coming out of the outlets. And it was really just this whole crazy big thing. And obviously this was right before Christmas. So the lease and office was supposed to be closed that day. There was not a lot of communication that was going on. So it was honestly just this big old deal. Um, luckily though, after we pressed them, we were able to get moved into a new unit and yeah so I I, did, I moved units you guys but I'm still in the same complex not that you guys know what complex I live in or anything like that but it wasn't a major move it was just what caused the move was pretty major um, I'm not sure if the people that were in the fire were okay but it was a pretty serious fire and um, they did have like stuff from the fire that was like thrown out on the floor. And I do have a lot of footage of everything and hopefully I'll be able to insert that so you guys can see everything. But yeah, it's pretty major. Luckily though, not to say it like that, I we did end up with one of the renovated units, which I had been praying for for quite some time now. So out of all the bad things that happened, something did come out of it that was pretty good another reason why um we were really kind of like dead set on getting out of the, that unit which is the third thing that is pretty new going into the new year um of course when things are i'm, I'm not gonna talk about it yet y'all i'm not gonna talk about it yet just wait or if you're impatient you can fast forward i don't care i mean i do care but I'm not, I'm, I'm not there yet. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna get there. We're getting there. We're getting there. But with water damage, there is typically a lot that comes with it. So the complex is actually having to go in and tear down probably every single wall that is in that unit, which is obviously not something that we wanted to really be a part of. Nobody really wants to live in a construction zone or anything like that, so. We definitely push the issue of us being transferred to a new unit. It's just not safe and they're exposing. Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear all the stuff that's going on outside of my window, but wait, I'm on like literally the whole other side of the building now. I don't really know how I feel about it, but I'm definitely a, like, like, I don't know if y'all just heard that, but yeah. Um, I'm definitely 
closer to like the city life and it's gonna be probably a big adjustment but that's besides the point coming back from my side tracking no one wants to live in a construction zone and we're literally walking through and there's sawdust that's coming down and there's nails on the floor and we're just overall like this is not safe at all so we definitely made sure that we acted quickly to try to get one of the vacant units i'm about to get into my last point y'all but i just need some water because this last point is probably the most craziest point out of all of them and i didn't really know how i felt sharing it on social media however um it has been one heck of a journey that i do want to share and i do hope that in sharing this journey that i can help someone but last but not least newly going into 2024 i am pregnant <laughs> which is crazy and it's weird to say um i've had a roller coaster of emotions but i'm currently at a place where i feel the most contempt not contempt let me not use contempt because a child is a blessing and i've never wanted anything more than to have my own family and that's currently what i'm on the path to um i'm excited i'm happy my fiance is excited um my family is excited everyone is super supportive it's it's just been so much to take in y'all <laughs> and it's been so much that has been changing and my life is just very different as i say every time i come in here and i film video but Yes, I am pregnant. I am anticipated to be due on October 2nd, 2024. So yeah, um, obviously there will be so much more to share coming after this video. And I am super excited to be able to share with you guys. And I hope that you guys are able to take something away from what I share and everything that I post and that I upload. And I hope that my content is able to help many people that's pretty much all that i have for this video i do hope that you guys enjoyed this i feel like a lot of people are going to be coming on here just to be nosy i don't care you're still here welcome as always i do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and make sure that you guys tune in for my next one bye